Welcome back to the Governor Show. The Governor Show is dedicated to board enthusiasts and aims to debunk the myth around board governance. The Governor Show is a series of weekly episodes featuring talented and experienced guests who will share their long experience with the audience. The Governor Show is available on our social media and on our website. My name is Xavier Pansard and my today's guest is Saskia Van Uffelen. Welcome. Hi Xavier, I'm going to take it away. <laughs> yes, exactly. I think it's uh, more comfortable like this, right? It's an honor to have you here today and uh, to uh, have your vision about the board 2040. Before starting, let me introduce you properly. Uh, Saskia, you are currently digital champion for Belgium and this since 2012, right? Exactly. Yes. This mandate was given to you by the European Commission and the Belgium government. What an achievement. You are corporate vice president of, you were corporate vice president Benelux for Initum, a global IT service company. Before that, you were CEO Benelux of Ericsson, CEO of CSB Consulting, CEO of Bull, which is part of Atos, mm -hmm. right, uh, if I remember well. Before that, you were VP of Arinzo, and, and even before you uh, share experience at HP Xerox, uh, where you started your career in IT. Exactly. I'm humbled to have you today. <laughs> yes. My pleasure of having me. There is, there is a, a little routine in, in the show, is handing over to you an object, okay. suiting you the most to your personality. And um, for you, we decided to create this DNA sequence. You will wonder, but why are you DNA sequence, right? It's a bit strange, but uh, I will describe the object to you to uh, fit to your, to your personality and career. So DNA sequence is a molecule composed of two chains that call around each other to form a double helix. DNA does not usually exist as a single strand. Just like the DNA sequence, the digital and the human skills are these two tightly intertwined strands. But it's the right combination and dosage that makes the magic happen. It also symbolizes the very precise work that has to be done into the DNA of companies to make digital transformation a success. Both in the future of businesses as in the future of teamwork between generation and people, it's very important to think about DNA. As a specialist in digital transformation, we thought this represented your expertise in a nice way. I think it has a compliment and, and certainly because you combine already the, the technology, the hearts yes. and the people, the soft, and it has even some Belgian colors if I uh, understand it right, yes. but some international <laughs> indeed, flavors. Indeed, indeed. So uh, it is, uh, it's, it's a combination of, uh, of a lot of things and you can, you can rework it depending on exactly. the circumstances. So, so I will, you for that. I will position this on the table here. Thank you. So you have it in front of you. So let's investigate, explore, go into details now about uh, having your point of view about the future of board of director 2040. And then my first question for you, Saskia, is the following. Current boards are mainly financially focused. Yep. According to you, what would be the content gaps to fill in? Well, it's very important, and you, you mentioned it correctly. Eh? Um, I would not say mainly, it's almost alone, financially <laughs> focused. And it, it, it depends, it, it guides the agenda. Yes. And that's why we have the number of meetings a year. Independently, yes. if we have now a 2020 special effect, yes. the calendar is, is, is upfront planned and it's linked with the financial statements and the financial results we have to, of course. We have to make. But that is creating a behavior in the board for very short term. Mm -hmm. right? We just need to make this quarter. We, ne we just need to talk about the dividend. Yes. We just need to talk about the financials. And it doesn't leave any ro room for wait a second, there is something else going on in the world. And um, as a board member myself, uh, uh, you also reflected in the, in, in the gift, is, is what about the human capital? Is the human capital ready? Mm -hmm. um, do we have the right competences to mm -hmm. execute the strategy going forward? Um, are we really taking the green economy seriously? Mm -hmm. and are we working to that? And if you see now what the European guidelines are, uh, 
we will certainly for the for the larger companies be obliged to do financial reporting but also non-financial reporting <laughs> so i think i'm i'm having a lot of hope that that my my little bit my frustration of mm -hmm. not having enough time in the agendas yes about non-financial will now be supported by a strategic demand From of the, europe uh, in, yes. in doing so but it requires um, a completely different setup because sure. um, um, employee engagement is very difficult yes. to report in KPIs. Yes. So we will have to rethink um, the, whole, uh, the whole aspect and also the agenda of the board. Do you see the change coming? Too slow. Too slow, Too okay. slow and it depends a little bit on the culture of the organization. You know, a board is always only reflecting a certain culture which is also yes. in the executive team and also in the shareholders' yeah. opinion. And it depends on board, board to board, yeah. if, if, if the change will, if the maturity level of going to non-financial information will be taken up very fast, yeah. or it will be pushed forward as long as there are not specific yes. fines to be paid if you are not in order. But let's be serious, as of 2022, based on the results yeah. of 2021, we already have to do some non-financial reporting. Course. So it's not... We don't have a lot of time mm -hmm. uh, to do so, uh, but I think there will still be a lot of um, yeah, crispy, crispy discussions um, because it's an all, a completely different um, way of thinking and, and as well from the executive yes. team as from the non-executive team. Yeah, because actually we always get focused on the next quarter. You're absolutely right, yeah. but uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't change the game at all. We need absolutely to have this uh, yeah, long-term vision. 2020, in that one, in, in my last book, which is there for tomorrow, I said, let's hope we do not need a war. <laughs> to realize that we have drastically to change our way of managing the financial model, the way of leadership. Yeah. We had in 2020 a kind of a war, but um, the roads were still there, the buildings were still there. My heart is with those who are uh, yes. impacted by, by corona or physically or mentally. Yes. But we still had the telecom, we still had the connectivity, we still had a lot of possibilities. Yes. And you see that in even in, in, in sectors where um, 2020 hit very hard, mm -hmm. the maturity level before on mm -hmm. changing was already starting to pop up and yes, they before. have survived very well. Mm -hmm. And some others who always neglect it and say it will not come that fast, Saskia, it's only in your world where you see a positive digital flow and you think that technology is important. Those organizations really ha have troubles for today. So it, is, it, is, it's, it, it helped us, 2020, to speed up the reflection uh, because you can't pull the elastic anymore and yes. you can reduce the costs another quarter yeah. and then another quarter, but at a certain moment, yeah, it breaks. it's ended. Yes, of course. Second question for you, uh, Saskia, today is uh, next generation of board of directors. That's pretty exciting. What you would be uh, a, a, a board components looks like in 2040? How do you see... You have to look a little bit back in time. Eh? I'm one of the the first ladies who was part of the, the Women on Board yes. um, organization, which, which I do appreciate because it, it helped us to, to focus on that side of, of diversity of in boards. That's very important. But the name of a board was still seen as something in heaven. I mean, the board was unreachable. It yes. was a selective club, yes, a club. of people. Um, if you had good references yeah. and um, you had a good network, mm -hmm and um, they liked you, yeah. then you were eventually picked up. Like and a favor or something. Yeah, like a oh. favor, like a kind of a prestige A prestige, uh, point. Yeah. yeah. And I still remember the first mandate was the most difficult because you didn't have the credibility, uh, you were not part of that network, um, you did not necessarily have the same kind mm -hmm. of competences. Um, and and uh, you see, as soon as you are you have one, then the second can count as reference, and then you're you're mm -hmm. you're in the and it's the loop. You're in the loop. Always yeah. the same people. Always the same people moving around. Yeah. I think to answer your question, in 2040, you have to imagine that in 2040, to my vision, we will live in a world where I, as a citizen, I will pay one amount a month for my housing, for my uh, utilities, gas, electricity for my insurance, for my transport, for my telecom. So it means that we are a very sector-organized country. Yes. But it means that between now and 2040, all those sectors will need to work together Merge. 
to create an offer mm -hmm. that will be ready because me as a citizen, I'm in the driver's seat. I mm -hmm. will ask it. And the first who will give me that offer will be, we'll the, win will, 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 will be the winning one. Mm -hmm. So it requires on the, the, the organization of the board that we think in a different way, but not only on competences, but also the way that the board is organized. We have now X meetings a year, which are mm -hmm. linked with the calendar period. There is maybe a strategic offsite or there is yes. not a strategic offsite. Yes. There is an audit committee because you have to have an audit committee and there is a remuneration committee because you have to have a remuneration committee. And now, lucky, eh, they're, they're selling strategic committee should be the responsibility of the board. Mm -hmm. But maybe we need a kind of a, a young advisor mm -hmm. committee, which are not people like me of the same age, with the of same like backgrounds, with the same experience, with the same thinking, which are all agreeing yes. and focusing with a, a head, focusing on financial yes. results. I would like to have people who are having experience with the hackathon, mm -hmm. not necessarily giving them the same personal responsibilities, because being a board member, you take some personal some responsibilities, mandate, yeah. but I need the input. So I think the way the board is set up, we need to leave the old way of being the club yeah. on the seventh floor yes. in the big meeting room and having a, a good cup of coffee. <laughs> we need to go to a more flexible organization, mm -hmm. which is more agile, which can react to, to... We will still have some circumstances like we had in 2020. Of course, it will come back. Competition will not come out of the sector anymore. So how, how you, will you be capable of reacting yes. on that? So we need to, 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 to think on how can we make a more yeah, f uh, agile structure, which, which can give input, which can react, which is maybe, uh, like you yes. say here, wh which can change the, the, way. the, the way of working. Um, now you can be a more board member for X number of years and yes. then you're board member off. Um, I, I do not see why that is still very relevant yes. today. It doesn't create the agility. Do you think we, we, we're going to need something else than just paper to work with board? Do, do you think we're going to need technology there? Oh, you need, you, technology is a mean. Yes. It's not a goal. Huh? Yes. And, and we have I've started with a lot of paper. Yes. And now we have a lot of paper. Again. But on a, a, a PC or on a tablet. Um, there is always a discussion, do we have enough information or do we have too much information or do we have the relevant information? Um, I think that will be always a challenge mm -hmm. to balance it between the executive team and, and the board. Uh, let's not forget that you take personal responsibility. So Indeed. it's very important to yeah. have transparent information. But there is some information missing um, and uh, that, can, that can be done by other um, aspects. Like I said, a hackathon. Mm -hmm. Maybe a board should organize once a year a hackathon, a hackathon on the organization and take that input to the strategic committee instead of listening to the executive committee who is maybe also of the same generation, sure. with the same experience, out of the same culture. Yes. And it, it would give, like, like, this is, like this is showing, it, it would give us another insight yes. and another uh, reflection in, into the organization. So there is a lot of technology which can help. Sure. But as long as the board does not decide on what will, what will we change or how will we evolve in our setup, it's very difficult to answer the question of what course. kind of technology would be the right Indeed. One. But do you think that today, currently, the board members are uh, sufficiently knowledgeable? Uh, because you have a mandate, you, you within a corporation, so you need to fulfill some statement. Mm -hmm. Do you think? They, they learn, uh, they, they have enough context about market analysis, competitive and things like that. Of, uh, well, who am I to judge to say that somebody else is not competent yes, or of not course, knowledgeable but, uh, enough? I, I, will, I will speak for myself, eh? that makes it, uh, makes it a, lot, uh, a lot easier. Um, lifelong learning is something which counts for me yes. also. Yes. And the reason why I've taken up boards was my project of lifelong learning. Mm -hmm. And that's why I, why I have a board in an insurance sector. I'm, yes. I'm normally not a techie, I'm not an engineer. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, I've always run around in the technology sector, but normally I should be in the classroom or give physical education for children. <laughs> um, but but uh, I'm not a finance person, so being in the insurance world learns me a little bit. Yes, A little course. bit a lot about the financial world. 
Um, I'm in the, the energy sector. Mm -hmm. uh, I was in the university mm -hmm. world. This is, and I think every board member should have a very diverse mm -hmm. set of, of boards and that can be used for myself. It helps me um, to, 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 to continue work on my own profile. Mm -hmm. um, that's also the reason why I'm still digital champion since, since 2011. You don't have to imagine, I don't have an organization, I don't have a budget. This is my social responsibility, that's how I say it. Mm -hmm. Is how can I execute the digital agenda in Belgium, because it has a lot of Belgium colors, <laughs> um, in, a, in an efficient, mm -hmm. in a, a secure, and in an e-inclusive way. Mm -hmm. and, and around the five teams, which are the, the digital infrastructure, discussion on, on telecom, yes. the digital governance, yes. because the citizen will sit in the driver's seat Indeed. and not the government anymore. Yes. Um, everything concerning security, but not only cyber security, but also ethical behavior mm -hmm. on how is data handled. And that's not uh -huh. a responsibility of one person. It should be the responsibility of everybody. Yes. Very good point. Um, everything concerning the skills and jobs. Yes. Because which is, which is the most relevant theme that should be discussed on board level also. Do yes. I have the right? competences mm -hmm. going forward exactly and what will be the strategy chosen it's easy as a board to decide we will do a collective dismissal mm -hmm. because that will help me for the short-term results sure. but is that sustainable mm -hmm. is that in the non-financials mm -hmm. the right Enough. behavior mm -hmm. and by the way am i sure that i'm gonna fin find the talent that i'm looking for externally i can confirm it they are not there <laughs> so you better make a strategy in investing in your own human capital. Sure. And then the last point, which in the context of fintech is, is, is important, is everything concerning the digital economy. Yeah. We, we, we need to work on a new way of, of sustaining uh, the, 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 the starters, the scalers, the existing companies, and answering to the question that the world of 2040 will, will look differently. Of course. And uh, about the board composition, uh, we... Uh, touch a little bit the subject for the first question. What is the current setup? What new competences do we need to introduce at board level? We spoke about advisory board, but... Uh, if yeah, you can I, think, I think it's... it's um, diversity in all aspects. Okay. Eh? And, and um, yes, we have, being a woman, a lot of discussion on gender diversity. Yes. Eh? But it's only one aspect, one aspect. Of, of diversity. We need urgently a diversity on age. Mm -hmm. I'm a boomer. I'm born in the year that I'm born. That's factual. I can't neglect that. <laughs> um, I've been running around in technology sector and I do understand a little bit of, the, of that world, yes. I think. But I'm not one of the generation Y. Sure. So having only boomers is not a good example of, of diversity. Having only... Um, uh, people in a certain sector with the same sector experience, uh, having done it for their whole career in local, international, horizontal, vertical, mm -hmm. and putting them together in a room, knowing that the competition will not come out of the sector, is not a good example of diversity. Mm -hmm. So I think it's diversity in all aspects. It's, it's, on, it's on language, it's on culture, it's on age, it's on gender. It's on sector, and yeah. that last one, I, I, I urgently um, would, would, would call the, the executive search sector <laughs> to help us in also convincing the remuneration and the nomination committees Committee. in daring to look of people outside the sectors and not only following the classical profiles, because that's the way we're going to change the diversity. But don't you think it changed? Don't you think today we see a change there? In well, it's very difficult. Remember that I said the board is a kind of select club. Yes. Um, it's very difficult to change a select club. Yeah. Um, because you always have the same members also in the remuneration committees yes. and they want to keep the select club. Yeah? It's, it's like the discussions about uh, people who do recruitment in organizations. Mm -hmm. They have their own way of thinking because that, that's, that's who we are. We are human. Yeah? So you, you first also have to create diversity in, mm -hmm. in your remuneration committee because Indeed. otherwise, but you, the remuneration committee is only making a recommendation to the board. So if the recommendation is not accepted advice by the board, only. Yeah, yes. it's advice only. Right. Advice if, only. If, 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 it's, if the advice is not accepted, then you're not. So it's, it's, it's going very slow. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and that's why I say I think executive search could help a lot yeah. in, in, in really trying to convince their customers that uh, to create a good board, it's very important to focus on diversity in all aspects. Understanding that, that we also need to say, uh, change the setup. Eh? Like I said, it's not a youngster. I'm not going to ask him to be personally liable of course. Uh, yeah. for the rest of his life. Or you understand life. the... Um, that's why I say maybe a good combination of a board and an advisory committee and giving mm -hmm. some responsibilities to the advisory committee could be a good uh, in-between transition. Thank you very much, Askia. Do you have some takeaways for the audience? If you need to uh, summarize what you just uh, described by three points, where you talk about uh, diversity, not only di gender diversity, you could raise up some, some more points to summarize what you just discussed. There are maybe two points to say. Um, I'm an optimist. Okay. And I see a I see lot of good things happening um, concerning cultural transformation in organizations, okay. and you feel it in the board. I have, I have boards where really the people are busy in, in already since a long time working on the non-financials, even if it was not a, fin a, a, request, an official request to the organization. Yes. So it's not all bad news, eh? sure. firstly. Secondly, in um, younger organizations, um, I could fill my days in uh, uh, being challengers of ideas. So there is a demand for younger organizations mm -hmm. to, um, to help them, to, to, to challenge them, to, to pinpoint, to, mm -hmm. to sparse a little bit. Did you talk about that? Did you talk about that? And I think we need to think of a, uh, an in-between organization, scenario. an in-between scenario. Mm -hmm not go to a, a structural board the old way, mm -hmm. but maybe we should have a, 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 a rolling board team, eh? like you have interim finance yes. manager and an interim HR yes. manager. And maybe there should be created a kind of a, an interim advisor with the context, with the context of, of advisory board or board, yes. which can help organizations to, to get more mature in certain aspects, to be ch challenged with an outside in view, um, uh, where the people are not doing that for the commercial aspects or for the financial aspects, but really with the background on I creating see. a sustainable organization going forward. Thank you very much, Saskia. That's very interesting insights uh, you share with us today. Uh, it closed the show. Uh, if you enjoyed the show, please uh, follow us on our social media and our website and see you next time. <laughs>